Hi everyone, Gene here with Mahalo.com. The clone source panel works together with the clone tool. I'm gonna to show you how to use these two together to clean up your images and even to combine several images. Let's get started. So first let's navigate to the clone source panel. We come up here to the window menu and scroll down to clone source. Just go ahead and click that. The clone source panel relies heavily on the clone tool that Justin Z covered in a different tutorial. So once we have the clone source panel open, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that our clone tool is selected. And then I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option button to select an area within our image that I want to clone. Uh, in this case, I'm going to come over here and let's say I just want to clone one of these telephone poles. And then I'm going to drop a telephone pole right here in the middle of the field. Because who doesn't want a telephone pole in the middle of their field? Now that's not exact, but there are a couple of other tools that we can use later on to clean up the color differences between our selection point and what we've just dropped in here. And now I'm going to come up here to the clone source panel and take a look at this first section. This first section is literally five different sources that we can choose from. Right now, as you can see, it says clone source not in use because I've only selected one. And, and as the tooltip comes up here, you can see the name of the image that this particular instance is cloning. So then if we move over here and we select the second clone source, we can come back into this image. And now instead of a telephone pole, let's say I want to clone one of these, uh, whatever this tractor thing is back here that it's kind of a little bit hard to, to make out exactly what it is. Let's go over here and hold down Alt or Option on the Mac and click to select my clone point. Now I can add one of these tractors anywhere else in the image. There are, again, there are ways of cleaning up the rest of this coloration so it blends a little more smoothly, but that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. Right now, let's get back to the clone source tool. So, as we can see here, now if we click back on our original source, and then we come back here into our image, we're working back with this original source. So we're adding a little more area around our telephone pole that we dropped in earlier. Not only do we have the option to do this with five different clone sources, but we can also do it between images. So I come up here to the image tabs and I select hike 10. I can now drop a telephone pole from the previous image into the mountains in this image. Or if I select the second clone source, I can drop one of those tractor things in as well. The next part of the panel is basically the transform section of the panel. First thing you're going to see is the offset. And if we turn off clipped here, then we'll see the entire image that we're painting over this image. Because essentially, with a clone tool, you're cloning from one layer to another, or in this case, one image to another. Um, but you're doing it with a brush, so you're only doing one small part. So if we turn clipped back on, you can see this is the part that we have already cloned over. Now, if we change our offset, Let's go ahead and uh, move the X a little bit over to the right, move the Y down a little bit. Um, I'm also going to drop the opacity here to about 50% so that I can see exactly where I'm going to be painting. So now I can move the offset around and I don't know if you can see it, but right here um, is that little tractor that we were painting before. And I'm going to move that down to the top of the mountain here. Uh, then I'm going to move over to the to the right part of the screen and I'm going to adjust the angle that the tractor is sitting at. Drop it down a little bit more at the new angle. And then I can click on the clipped option again and then come over here and paint it in. So this is an easy way if we come back to our first clone source uh, and then again shut off clipped. We can move the position of the image and that will allow us to drop more telephone poles in different areas. Turn clip back on so I can see what I'm doing here. And I think it was right about here. Yep, there it is. And we've got another telephone pole. So we can pretty much do this as many times as we want. Remember, this is coming from our previous image, Hike 16. We took the telephone pole originally from a completely different image and now we're applying it to this image here. The last two options here that I didn't talk about are the width and height. And again, I'm going to shut off clip just so I can show you what we're actually doing. So we're going to drag the width, drag the W in width and change the actual width. 
Let me pull this back into frame here a little bit so you can see what's actually going on. And we can shrink it down. Uh, in this case, we'll say to about 50%. And then move it around again. So we can actually, using the exact same Clone Source 1, we can drop a second telephone pole that's a little bit smaller, and it looks like it's a little further off in the distance. We can clean that up later, or we can hit undo. And drop it in a second time. I'm not being real careful here, because my main point is to show you what the clone source panel does. Uh, we can do the same thing with the height. This will lock the width and the height, so we can change them individually. I'll show you here, we can stretch it out. Make it bigger, make it smaller. We basically have total control over the transformation of this image. So then if we come over to the transfer mode here, which is the only option I haven't talked about, when clipped is shut off and we can view the entire image, we drop down the transfer mode, and right now is normal, which basically gives us an inverted look at the previous image that we've selected. We can select darken, we can select lighten, or we can select difference. Each one of these options is going to make it easier or more difficult for you to see what's actually going on when you don't have clipped checked. Uh, you're going to have to play around with it to see which one works best. That's all for now. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send any questions that you might have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.